All right, what is going on guys? So uh, first of all, I finally shaved so I look like somewhat less of a hobo. Still got the hobo hat on. But uh, it is 6.50 right now in the morning. About to go get an early morning full body workout in. Got a match, max bench um, top set, five to seven reps. Gonna shoot for like between 215 and 225, probably around 215, 220, and see how the things see how things go from there. After bench, I have some upper back work, and then I believe I have some arm work and finishing with a little bit of lower body. So gonna get after that. Gonna take you along with the day, and let's get this one started. All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to the commentary. First, I just want to ask if this sounds a little bit better. I'm using a different mic, and I just want to see if it does sound a little bit better. I'll definitely check it before I put this up on YouTube, obviously, but I want to see from your end if you guys notice a difference at all. Um, but anyways, as I mentioned in the intro, I was working up to a top set on bench, five to seven reps once again, and um, since the last week, I overreached a little bit with 225. Um, I didn't really want to push myself too much here. I also didn't have a spotter like I did, so I ended up going right now with what you're seeing here, um, which I believe is... What is that, 205 or no? Yeah. 205, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, absence in sound there. But yeah, 205, and um, I believe I hit that for six reps, which was solid. Probably could have got a few more, but I didn't want to go too hard, and I didn't want to push things too much because with bench, I often find, especially barbell bench, I often find if I push it too much, I definitely lose that form, butt comes off the bench a little bit, but more importantly, I feel like my shoulders take a bit of a beating compared to like dumbbell bench, for instance, and I want to keep progressing with the barbell because I know the greater the load, the more chest activation, and in the research, it does show that the greater the one rep max, the bigger the chest, so there's a direct correlation there, so I definitely want to get my bench up, and in comparison to my squats and my deadlifts, it's always been kind of a a kind of down sort of um, area for me, if you will, and it's not been an area that's been a strong suit by any means. So um, anyways, guys, I moved on after bench to some face pulls, really focusing on the shoulder retraction, getting a little bit of external rotation, and really just focusing on my shoulder health, rear delts, and upper back there. Um, and then I just finished the workout with a little bit of arm. So as you guys have seen, I've been doing some full body workouts. I'm actually being coached by my good friend who is um, about to become a, he's about to go to school for um, physical therapy to get his doctorate. And he right now currently has a bachelor's in kinesiology. He's a great guy when it comes to sports performance and overall programming. So definitely go give him a follow follow Jake Thien um, on Instagram, so I'll post that up on the video here, but anyways, he's been running my programming, and I just want to give him a testament to show really how grateful I am that he's doing this, and how much of a benefit it has had to me and my sort of progression here that you guys are seeing, so stay on the lookout for some more PRs coming, and the next episode of the day in the life of myself, which hopefully you guys are finding interesting, but uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about anything at all, let me know, but otherwise I'll talk to you guys very soon. Also, make sure you check out those podcasts if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.